Example number seven. Solve integral of cos x or sine to the six x dx. Solution. Integral of cos x or sine to the six x dx. Pull the power six outside of the sine x. Now let's suppose sine x equals to u. Take derivative on both sides. We have now du equals to cos x dx. Replace the value sine x by u and cos x dx by du. Pull u to the 6 up to the numerator to have integral of u to the minus 6 du. Take its integration to have u to the minus 6 plus 1 or minus 6 plus 1 plus arbitrary constant. We applied this formula integral of x to the n. The value of n is minus 6 here. Minus 6 plus 1 or minus 6 plus 1. Solve it further. Here we have the final expression minus 1 or 5 times u to the minus 5 plus c. Now substitute back the value of u which was sine x. You can pull the sine x to the minus 5 down to the denominator to have minus 1 over 5 times sine x to the 5 plus c. Here is the final answer. Example number 8. Integral of tangent theta times natural log like cos theta d theta. Solution. Integral of tangent theta times natural log like cos theta d theta. Let's suppose natural log cos theta equals to u. And take derivative on both sides. We have now du of d theta equals to 1 over cos theta times sine theta. When you take derivative of natural log cos theta, it becomes 1 over cos theta times the derivative of cos theta sine theta. Let's separate the theta terms at one side and u at another side. We have du equals to 1 over cos theta times sine theta d theta. Sine theta or cos theta equals to tangent theta. Just replace natural log cos theta by u and tangent theta d theta by du. Take integration of u. Integration of u is u to the 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus arbitrary constant. We applied this formula here. Integral of x to the n. Our n is 1, 1 plus 1 or 1 plus 1. So here is the final expression u square or 2 plus c. Now substitute back the value of u which was natural log cos theta and that's all. Example number 9. Solve integral of sine to the 6 theta times cos theta d theta. Solution. Integral of sine theta to the 6 times cos theta d theta. Just put the power 6 out of the sine theta. Let's suppose sine theta equals to u. Take derivative on both sides. We have now d equals to cos theta d theta. So replace the sine theta by u and cos theta d theta by du. Take integration of u to the 6 with respect to u. When you integrate it, you will get u to the 6 plus 1 or 6 plus 1 plus arbitrary constant. We applied this formula integral of x to the n dx. The value of n is 6 here, 6 plus 1 or 6 plus 1. And this is our final expression, u to the 7 or 7 plus c. Now substitute back the value of u, which was sine theta. 
and here is the final answer sin theta to the 7 or 7 plus c solve integral of sine of 4 minus 2x dx solution suppose 4 minus 2x equals to u take derivative on both sides to have du over dx equals to minus 2 bring this dx to the right hand side to separate the x term now replace 4 minus 2x by u here and dx by minus du over 2 pull the two outside of the integration integration of sine u equals to minus cos u plus arbitrary constant we apply this formula here integral of sine x dx equals to minus cos x this is the final expression now substitute back the value of u example number 11 solve integral of 1 over sine square x times cos square x dx solution 1 equals to sine square x plus cos square x because there is one simple trigonometric formula which is sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1 and therefore we can put sine square x plus cos square x for the 1 now make two sub integral sine square x or sine square x times cos square x and then the other one cos square x or sine square x times cos square x sine square x will cancel with the sine square x we left with integral of 1 over cos square x dx plus cos square x will cancel with the cos square x and we left with integral of 1 over sine square x dx 1 over cos square x equals to second square x dx and 1 over sine square x is cosecant square x integral of second square x dx equals to tangent x plus integral of cosecant square x dx equals to minus cotangent x plus arbitrary constant remember we applied this formula here for the left term second square x equals to tangent x and for the right side term we applied this formula cosecant square x equals to minus cotangent x this is the final answer tangent x minus cotangent x plus c this is the end of u substitution process for indefinite integral